Hello everyone, Daniel here from Lepta Church. I want to talk to you about something that you have access to right now. Peace and confidence in every season of life. You have access to peace and confidence right now, whether you realize it or not. Regardless of what you're going through, regardless of what the enemy has been throwing at you, you have access to peace and confidence. And I'm going to prove it to you from God's word in this video that you have peace and confidence available to you right this very moment. Imagine how life-changing it would be if that would be true, and it is. And I'm going to show you right here in God's Word so we can just start enjoying peace and confidence regardless of what's going on, especially in these turbulent times. But first, I just want to pray. I'm just an average guy that wants to communicate God's Word, so let's pray together here. Lord, please use this time to speak to us and to lead us. I thank you so much for this Word that you've prepared, and I pray, Lord, that we would receive it and we would believe you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, with the Lord's help, Psalm 57, 4 to 7. I'm going to go ahead and read it. It says, verse 4, My soul is among lions. I lie among the sons of men who are set on fire, whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue a sharp sword. Verse 5, Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be above all the earth. Verse 6, they have prepared a net for my steps. My soul is bowed down. They have dug a pit before me. Into the midst of it, they themselves have fallen. Selah, which means pause. Verse 7, my heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and give praise. So this was written by David in a cave. David was literally in a cave. Imagine that when he wrote these words. And there's actually another psalm that was written in a cave, not just Psalm 57, Psalm 142, but not a good circumstance. He finds himself in and he's running for his life from King Saul and he writes this psalm. And in the fourth verse, he gives us a pretty drastic and graphic picture of what he's going through. He says in verse 4, my soul is among lions. Literally, the deepest part of who I am is among some of the deadliest animals. Who I am is surrounded by things that can absolutely kill me. Have you ever felt like that? That in the middle of a trial, it's like you're among lions, that it's like the trial itself threatens to kill your very soul. And in verse 4, he continues to describe his circumstances, saying he's among people who are set on fire, whose teeth are spears and arrows, and whose tongues are a sharp sword. In verse 6, he says these people have set a net for him literally trying to trap him. They've dug a pit for him. That's that's what they're trying to do. And they've got all this capacity to destroy as well. So he's, he's in a cave, literally a tangible cave, but he's in a dark emotional cave too. He's in this season that's unbelievably deadly and destructive and terrifying. Now, most people would allow these circumstances to rule their emotions and their mindset, myself included, um, one of our tendencies as people is to allow our circumstances to have more control over us internally than they should. We can be like cold-blooded creatures. Cold-blooded creatures have the temperature of their environment, right? So in cold weather, their temperature is cold. In warm weather, they're warm. Whatever the environment is, that's what they have internally. Is your mindset like that? In good times, are you doing great? And you're so warm and comfortable, but in bad times, your temperature, your mindset turns cold and frigid. We could be like that. When times are great, you're flying high. When times are terrible, when we are in the middle of an awful trial, we're plunged into desperation, despair even depression. But 
David understood that he had access to peace and confidence in every season, no matter what. And he actually makes that declaration right here in verse 7, saying, My heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. Some translations say, My heart is confident, O God. My heart is confident. That's what steadfast means confident. I won't back down. How is he so confident, refusing to back down and give up? How can he have peace and confidence in the midst of these circumstances that are so dangerous and horrible? Because he's not a frog. He's not manipulated by his environment. He's not going to let that change who he is. He's not going to let his temperature go all over the place. He's a human being. He's warm-blooded. His temperature is warm, regardless of how cold and frigid and horrible it can get. You don't have to give in to the circumstances around you. You don't have to. You don't have to let circumstances control and manipulate you. So when we look at this, what does David do? Well, in verse 5, he praises God. Be exalted, he says to the Lord. Let your glory be above all the earth. He praises God in good times and bad, but he doesn't stop praising God. And he's willing to have a big picture view of things, keeping the focus on the Lord, keeping the focus on the Lord's glory too, and his exaltation. So what does this do in David's heart? We see it in verse 7. It gives him confidence. I'm confident, oh God. I'm, I'm confident. He repeats it. I am steadfast. Oh God, I am steadfast. Do you think he's fretting, worrying? No, he's a man at peace. He's experiencing peace and confidence in this dark cave. And it's not just a Bible story and a Bible character that has something special. You have access to the same thing. You don't have to spend a single moment in hopeless despair. You can have peace. That's what this is teaching. You can have confidence. If he can have it, you certainly can. And that's why David's able to promise in Psalm 16 and also in Psalm 62, I will not be shaken. How does he know that he will not be shaken? How does he know? You know, that word shaken in Hebrew means he will not slip or fall. It's because he knows, regardless of what's going on, even if you're among lions, like we see in Psalm 57.4, or with deadly, fiery people with sharp teeth and tongues ready to stab you right in the heart, he knows God will carry him through. I am confident, oh God, I am confident. And that confidence leads David to promise that he will sing and says in the last part of verse 7, I will sing a free heart, a heart at peace and full of confidence will sing for joy to the Lord. He is confident. Oh, he is confident. He's confident in a cave because he knows God is there. So how do you access the same peace and confidence that David experienced. Well, I really believe the key is found in verse 5. It is praise. It is focusing on God. It literally sets David's heart free. Now, here's the amazing part. In the last part of verse 6, it says that the enemy is falling into his own traps. God will defeat the enemy. God will take care of it. Be at peace. Be confident. God will make things right. I am confident, oh God. I am confident even in a cave. I am confident in a cave. He's going to make things right. You can have peace and confidence. You may be in a cave right now. Don't let the circumstance determine your mindset. Don't let it control you. Be confident. Be confident in God. You aren't an amphibian or a reptile with this cold, fickle blood that goes all over the place, up and down, all over the place. You're warm-blooded. You're full of the precious blood of Christ that warms your heart and your spirit, no matter what. I mean, this is the message from God's Word. You can trust it. You can take it to the bank. You can believe 
what he's saying here. God has proven it again and again. And my heart is just to communicate this in a way that gets you hungry for it. You can have peace and confidence in a cave. God is there. And I, I want to pray for you right now. I want to pray for you, whatever circumstance you're going through. Lord, I pray right now that peace and confidence would belong to every person who's watching this. And they already have access to it, but that they would lay hold of it, God. And I pray that if anyone watching this is in a cave now, that this would bring such hope, Lord. And if they aren't, but they will in the future, that you would remind them that we do have access to peace. We do have access to confidence. We could be steadfast. We don't have to fall. We can say with David, I will not be shaken. I will not be shaken. Lord, circumstances have no hold over us, Lord. We are warm-blooded. We will not be shaken. We will not change. Peace and confidence are is they're ours in Christ Jesus. And we claim that today. And we thank you, Lord. I thank you for this word. Help us to believe it. Help us to receive it, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. I do hope and pray God has used this in your heart, that the Holy Spirit's speaking to you. Feel free to comment below. If you have anything to share, you can also email us at contact at leptachurch.com. We would love to hear from you. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we would love for you to be a part of what God's doing here online through Lepta Church and Lepta TV. So please subscribe if you haven't. And if you enjoyed this, if it was helpful, if it was a blessing. And right now, I just pray blessings and peace and joy and confidence over you and over your family. God loves you so much. And we do too. Thanks for watching this to the end, and I will see you next video.